I am not giving up when it comes to Kak Inu. In fact, I refuse to give up because I still believe that it could hypothetically go to a $5 billion market cap during this bull run. Now, even though nothing I say is financial advice, not a guarantee, some people may think it's crazy. They're like, come on, man. Market cap is below $100 million. That's over 50x from here. What are you on about? But the more I thought about it, the more I realized how Kak Inu is simply one of the best meme coins out there. And I learned how a lot of other meme coins are actually complete caca when compared to something like this. Because if you really think about it, a lot of meme coins out there, they're so lazy. The community is so weak in a lot of cases. And they're just very complacent. They don't really care about evolving or innovating. But when it comes to Kak Inu, you know, all signs are indicating that they're not giving up. And even if you take a look at its ecosystem, there are many community projects related to NFTs, DeFi, and as well as gaming. So if you take a look at it, you know, the ecosystem didn't go down. It's not like it went off into the abyss, you know, like Sam Bankman Free. That's not the case. It's still doing very well, in my opinion. Now, also, if we take a look at it, you know, when I talked about Kaki, you know, at one point, market cap was above $400 million. People loved it at that time. And now that it's below $100 million, everyone suddenly hates it. Makes no sense, in my opinion. If I loved it then, I love it even more right now. So I don't get this mentality. It's like in real life. For instance, if I want to buy something, let's say I want to buy a pair of shoes and then it's $200, but then I love it. Suddenly there's a discount 30% and I don't love it. That wouldn't make any sense, right? In real life, people like discounts, but in the world of cryptocurrencies, they seem to hate it. I don't understand that. But in some cases, it's probably because their portfolio is down, ego may not be doing the best. And then they're like, oh man, but the way I take a look at it is that as long as I don't sell, really, it's an unrealized loss. Now, this isn't financial advice, but that's just the way I view it. And low prices do give me a chance to lower down my average cost. So I don't think it's a bad thing at all, if anything. You know, I'm not going to sell. So what am I going to do? I'm going to still stay patient and just continue to lower down my average cost and just dollar cost averaging. You know, that's just my very simple strategy. Just acquiring, holding, and just waiting. That's it. You know, I'm not focused on what happens to the price every two minutes, two hours. You know, I'll just continue to accumulate because I'm focused on consistent accumulation over an extended period of time. You know, I'm in here more so for the long term. And it's not like that we have to really wait that much longer. I mean, usually altcoins, they peak anywhere between a year and a half to half a year after a Bitcoin halving event. The Bitcoin halving event happened back in April. That's still plenty of time. That's worst case October next year, historically speaking. I don't mind waiting that long. If anything, it's more time for me to accumulate. And the special sauce when it comes to cock, you know, no pun intended, of course, you know, the cherry on top, so to speak, is that it's an avalanche meme coin. We all know that I love avalanche. People like to say that avalanche sucks. It's Kaka, it's little brother to Solana. Quite frankly, I find that very disrespectful. I mean, come on. It's not the little brother to Solana, even though it may not be as big. But I think in terms of fundamentals, it's pretty much even. Okay, we take a look at what people like about Solana. They like the speed of it. Well, avalanche is also very fast. They say that avalanche is not scalable. Well, it's actually very scalable, much like Solana. So I don't get why people keep saying that Avalanche is this caca blockchain. No, man, I don't think that's true. And once that FOMO really does kick in for Avalanche, guess what people are going to pay attention to? They're going to pay attention to the meme coins and other smaller projects that do exist on Avalanche. And then they're going to start paying attention to them. And naturally, these projects, they could very well go along with the ride. You take a look at what happened to Solana meme coins. You know, when Solana really gained that retail FOMO, guess what they paid attention to? Book a meme, dog with hat. You take a look at many other Solana-based meme coins out there. They grew along with the ride. Also, not just meme coins, even smaller projects like decentralized exchanges, right? You know, so many other projects. You get my point. Could the very well same thing happen to Avalanche? Yeah, why not? You know, history doesn't always repeat itself, but it tends to rhyme. So I think when people start FOMOing into Avalanche, when the market really does pick up again, Guess what they're going to pay attention to? I think hypothetically, something like Kak Inu. So it's just a matter of time. All I got to do right now is just stay patient again, just continue to accumulate because there's currently over 600 million crypto owners. I mean, this is more than ever before in history. The potential FOMO buying pressure that could result as of that could be so insane. And also, Bitcoin, you take a look at the ETF, the number of institutional investors. I would be surprised if it doesn't hypothetically go to the price of $150,000 during this bull run. I really would. With those amazing factors, I don't see why not. And again, a $5 billion market cap, I don't think it's crazy. Now, if you're wondering what price it would have at that point, I do showcase it on the screen because I think, quite frankly, it's far easier to refer to it as that. But again, if you want to know the price, I do put it on the screen. But 
even if you take a look at a $5 billion market cap, you know, at its core, it's not crazy. We've seen Dogecoin reach, you know, over $80 billion. We've seen SHIB reach around $40 billion. So I don't see why $5 billion is too much to ask for. Now, granted, people like to say that, oh, SHIB and Doge, the community is so amazing. Look at its fans. I'm not saying that Kaki Inu needs to be the next SHIB or the next Doge. I'm not saying that. It doesn't need to be that. Just being a small glimpse of that, that's already very amazing. Think about this, right? Does every NBA player, you know, who gets drafted, do they have to be the next Michael Jordan? Do they have to be the next LeBron James? No. Do they have to be the next Kobe Bryant? Absolutely not, right? I mean, that's very difficult to achieve, even though rest in peace to Kobe Bryant, may he rest in power. But I think you get my point. You know, every single NBA player doesn't have to be the next generational talent, much like in the world of meme coins. I think the new ones, they don't necessarily need to be the next Doge, the next Shib. They could very well do that, but it's not necessary, much like in the case of Kak Inu. If it did grow as much as Doge, would that be great? Absolutely. I mean, that'd be fantastic. But I don't think it needs to. Again, a $5 billion market cap is over a 50x from here. Sometimes enough is enough, if you know what I mean. Not financial advice, but that's just the way I take a look at it. So when I consider all of those amazing factors, when I consider just how realistic it is for Kak Inu to attain a $5 billion market cap, I don't see why I won't reach it during this bull run. Again, I'm not giving up. I'm staying patient. You know, that wouldn't surprise me whatsoever during this bull run. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. It's Willie the Captain, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm up. Peace. Bye.